of it. Do you hear me? Hello everybody, how are you? It is now Wednesday at 7 p.m. 
and time for Nana to play her games. Welcome to Nana Critter, where a nerdy grandma, aka Nana Critter, plays video games. We are now, hi, we are now in season four, um, and we are playing Phoenix Wright uh, Ace Attorney, and yay! How are can you? Can you hear me? I can. Hi. Yay, I got it fixed. Also, you're not properly streaming it to me, so I cannot see it on Discord. Ooh, okay, I will try that again. Um, I tried to text you, Sally. Oh, sorry. No worries. Um, let me see. It's just like a black screen. Okay, it, I am saying share your screen. Why is it not doing that? Um, are you sharing the game? I did try. Um I'm gonna try that again. Um, I'm gonna say stop stream screaming now. I'm gonna do this again. Uh, maybe oh, yeah. I, maybe I clicked on the wrong thing. Possibly. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. Yeah. Hear it and everything. Yay. Yay. Okay, and you can hear me, so we're good. Yes. Yes. My microphone wasn't properly plugged in when I. Ah, got in okay. earlier no worries hello everyone hello <clears throat> i don't remember where we left off exceedingly can you i think we finished the trial oh or not the, okay. that trial day um and so i think it's going to be time for more investigating um so i'm, I'm probably going to get to rest my voice a little bit and not do karma for a while <laughs> yay um and mia was uh no no, not Mia. Maya was wonderful. You got it. And Maya sacrificed herself uh, yeah, to get kicked out now. of the courtroom by asking uh, Lada. I forgot what Lada's last name was. But anyway, Lada. Lada Hart. It's oh, a yeah. Pun. Oh, oh, Lada Hart. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> A lot of heart. Who would just. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and, and got her to admit that she really hadn't seen what she claimed she saw um she just was there to try to get pictures of the monster yeah. gordy um yeah and so she got so, herself in trouble and so she's gone now forever we'll probably never see maya again <laughs> um, yeah she just got booted out of the courtroom all right so we will pick back up gonna go be put in prison again <laughs> oh yeah that'd be terrible I'm uh, sorry. Okay. No, I mean, I think she probably is put in prison again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I didn't even think I about know. that. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. So, so am I going to be able to get her out? <laughs> I mean, I, I hope so. Do I have to go get her out? Goodness gracious. I wonder if she's uh, sharing a cell with. Um... No, I'm also, just... dear sister, enjoy your food. Wait, what? Just for you. Who are you talking to? Um, my sister who okay. messaged in the chat, and I mm. hope that that tickled her. Oh, that's cute. Okay, hang on. Let me let me go full screen online. I'll allow it. You'll allow it. Oh, okay. Looking while you eat. Okay. <laughs> I yeah, do yeah. hope you enjoy your food. Uh <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, comrade. <laughs> uh, all right. December 26th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Oh, no. <laughs> Maya is <laughs> there. She's here again. Maya. Or, oh, sorry. Maya. Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day, okay? It's a relief. Hey. Why'd you do that anyway? I mean, I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. Maya, you're awesome. And you saved the day. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. You saved the day. Just like I said, see, I anticipate. I'm in sync. <laughs> I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth wasn't sentenced to death. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, just just behave from now on, okay? Uh, oh, 
okay, I for sure will do that <laughs> for always in the future. I'll never misbehave ever again. <laughs> Not believe in this. Uh, <laughs> have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. Did he get thrown in? <laughs> no, I guess not. <laughs> no, like he came to see Got me. It. Got it. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Oh, good. Whew. Oh, uh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready, so... You can pay for me, okay? Sure. No problem. I'm just right? rolling right? in the money here. Huh? How much? Uh, I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Sounds like kind of not my problem because you're going to handle it. So I don't think that's how it works, Maya. <laughs> Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Because you're a weirdo, Phoenix. Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. Well, maybe she's on vacay. No, I'm just kidding. Um, she's dead and my sister. Don't I... make those jokes. I tried. I really did. I, I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Well, hmm. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are <clears throat> any waterfalls in the local area. Oh, she'd love that. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. I'm sorry, Mia. I need to see if I can find that out. Um, I don't think I have anything to present to her. I don't think so. No. So I think it's time to move elsewhere. Okay. Uh, probably, so... I mean, probably Gord Lake, huh? Okay, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. December 26th, Gord Lake Park entrance. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Not on this screen, apparently. Okay, anything... Um... I mean, we've basically already searched all this, okay. so... Okay, so yeah, I think, I think unless someone's here or there's an obviously new thing on the screen. Oh, okay. We can just go further in. Why is it? Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, That's yeah. Fine. Okay. <clears throat> December 26th, Gord Lake Public Beach. I haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely uh, Keonce. Hmm. Um, maybe the woods. I think that's where uh, a lot of heart had been and stuff. Maybe she oh, is there the or something area. else is okay, there. Got it, got it, got yeah, it. yeah. Yeah, I'd say let's try that. Anybody December. here or anything different? December Sorry, 26th. I interrupted you. That's okay. December 26th, Gord Lake Woods. Sorry, and then I interrupted you again when whoa. I was apologizing. Oh, oh, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> hey, pal. The trial today in a... Uh... Oh. Yeah. Yes, well, what about the trial? Well, I was going to say good show, but it really wasn't all that. No offense. Hey, I... <laughs> I did do a lot of good stuff. Though you did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like I totally proved it wasn't him that killed him. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, like, he's still... I know, I just wasn't but... sure how to thank you, you know? Because, like, you did... You helped, but you didn't do, like, a great job. You know what I'm saying? So what's, like... Hey! What's the proper... Hey! Getting through in that fiasco of a court, I would and say really, that I did. And really, out, too, because I, I I'm able to see the chat. Like, really, you were kind of just saved by Maya anyway, so, like... That's not completely true. I did figure out... I mean, it's kind of... <sighs> whatever, Gumshoe, whatever. Uh, <laughs> or thanks. Um, <laughs> all right. Detective Gumshoe, any idea what... 
strategy, Von Karma's planning for tomorrow? Uh, it sounds like he's bringing in another witness, so... Another witness? Oh, right, he said something about that in the trial today. Oh, no. There were two witnesses. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was wondering who that other witness was. Or who was it? Uh, so, sorry, pal. I mean, you know, as much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Like, we're on the same side, but also right. I don't want to be fired, you know. Right. Oh, right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. <laughs> I think there were two witnesses, guys. Thanks, chat. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Uh, I mean... Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a prosecutor, and him being scared of earthquakes, it all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. I mean, it's the sort of thing that changes a person's life trajectory, you know? He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> I mean, Batman saw his parents get killed, and he became Batman, so... <laughs> that's that's true. Um, so <laughs> I, I'm not sure... I'm not sure what the holdup is here, Edgeworth, you know? Like, why, why aren't you Batman? <laughs> I mean... Yeah, that is the takeaway here. That, that's why isn't that's... Edgeworth Batman? Yeah, or, or, you know, or at least some kind of superhero. I mean, come on. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, we should definitely get on to him for that. Yeah, I, I think so. I think it's only fair. All right. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about Maya Fey. Huh? Uh, she's not out on bail yet? That's strange. We are all Batman in our own way. Thank you, chat. <laughs> I told them to let her go as soon as they had written their report up. Man. I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Because, like, you were not going to do it, you know? Um, I think we've already covered the scumshoe. Uh, yes, I did. I'm, just saying, I'm not, like, I am not taking she it. She really saved all of our butts, and but especially yours. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, gumshoe. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff. I I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Well, Gumshoe, you definitely have a lot of a lot of emotions going on here. Yeah. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. And, like, that doesn't happen, okay? I look at his lips all the time, so I, like, <laughs> notice. I mean, that came out weird. What I'm saying is... <laughs> all right, Gumshoe. TMI, TMI. <laughs> Mr. I cannot even believe this, though. Mr. Unemotional, Wow. Really? Cold air? <laughs> I love how <laughs> I predict. <laughs> Sometimes you're really, like, I'm in just, sync with, yeah. with Phoenix. Yeah. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did, you know? I'm going to head back to the station. Why don't you get Maya out? I don't know why she's still in there. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll get the report on Maya. Get her out of there as soon as I can. See? <laughs> okay, thank you. I, I appreciate that, Gumshoe. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is Belle going to be? Eh, don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. Whoa, okay. Wow, this is a surprise. I told you he was grateful. What? <laughs> I love it. What? Edgeworth? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Also, chat, 
You're so right. <laughs> He's grateful to her for what he did. All right, pal. Uh, well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? All right. Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. You know? I I, I did did help out here. Um, Let's see. Do we want to go get Maya back? <laughs> Uh, uh, should, should I just, just now just see something? I mean, I, I don't think, like I don't think there's changed. anything new, probably. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me see. All right, let's go get my, um, righty. Let's see. Are you back. asking to move in with Edgeworth? <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, entrance, and then we can go elsewhere. Seems fast, but maybe it's open, you know? Who can say? You don't know until you ask. December 26th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hey, Nick, you finally came! They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Thank goodness. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, why did you do this time? And I'm like, come on. It's like I was some sort of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, <laughs> they let you go out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, uh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. You're not going to believe this, Maya. It wasn't me. You're not going to guess who it was. Thank Edgeworth. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said it right. He posted bail for you. I, I was shocked. Yeah, I, I, I get what you're feeling. I was... I was dumbfounded, and there was a tear in his eye. He, okay, he he was great. No, there for was tears and there was tears in Gumshoe's eyes. Yeah. There was a tremble in Edgeworth's lip. Okay, so said That's he was, was grateful for what you did, and and Gumshoe saw his lip tremble. He, he that cold wow. as ice, Edgeworth. I know, I know, shocking. Mister Edgeworth did that, including the lip tremble. Mm-hmm. Wow. I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. That, that I agree. All right, so. Anything else to say to her or? Mm. Oh, it's just a. What do you think this, we should do this next? This is like the hint system, basically. Mm. What do you think we should do next? Uh, we're kind of lacking in the clues department. Blues clues? We can go to the park and look for Gordy. Blues clues? No. Um, I don't know that show. Is it a show? I was kidding. Still, there are no, out this there. This is me. This is me. That's you. <laughs> That's okay. I'm so over eager because I'm ready to get out of jail. <laughs> Still, if there are any clues out there, the park's as good as bad as any. That's what I'm saying. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure. Except I do have another question to ask you. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Uh, have you noticed anything lately? Uh, I know that's, that's kind of here? that's kind of yeah. broad. I know that's kind of a broad question, but yeah, and, you know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm, and they keep it very clean. Well, that's not quite the angle I was going with Maya. I mean, like, more what do like you a, expect from me? I've been in I jail. Mean, I meant, have you noticed anything about the case? Well, not much more than that. No, I've been in here. She's probably so upset about Mia. I should leave her alone. All right. Let's go back to the park. Let's go back to the park. Okay. <coughs> park, 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 park. So, I don't know why. Just because <laughs> we talk about this a lot and I love um, Tim Curry. But when you're like, let's go back to the park. This reminded me from... Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show something. Let's go get whatever. I don't know. He's like, let's go. Yeah. Right. Thinking of Tim Park. Parkour. Do what? Chat. They got the jokes. Mm. December 26th, Gore Lake Park entrance. There aren't many cops around today, are there? Yeah, I was just noticing that too. 
They're probably back at the precinct working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. I don't know what they're going to do, though, because the, the photo clearly shows it was not him that fired the gun. Hey, y'all. Oh, no. Hey, it's Lotta. Y'all really did it today. What, what, what did we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking, a, a little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I, I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lotta. So you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd be in a witness. Even though I, I, I didn't really see anything. You could have I, gotten a guy I, killed. I kind of convinced myself I had, though. Uh. I, I'm sorry. I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague little thing, so. Yeah, yeah. I sure would know about that now. I feel I like sometimes you get more country. <laughs> I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right. You mean the first time you witness a murder? Also, uh, don't make that a goal to witness that. Kind I of know. Thing. It's like, um, <laughs> yeah. What about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figure. The trial's only stoking the flames of going to fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to stardom. All right, Lotta, you go, girl. <sighs> I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Why don't we investigate this? <laughs> or finish your spirit medium training first. I didn't say that out loud. No, because that'd be a bad idea. Yeah. Lotta, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, well, you see, actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Kahn didn't want me to say nothing about it. He didn't want you to say anything about a lot of things. Uh, what information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I, I, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little a exchange. No, uh, then. <laughs> uh, exchange. Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right? Right. I, I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. I don't think that's how it works. That doesn't really fit in the parameters of exchange. That's, yeah, that's not really, yeah, okay. Um, what? information don't come to cheap, my friend. Come a cheap. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I just come up with how I want to say them oh on the God. fly. I'm it's having so lots of fun. Hi. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I see you thinking my how unsophisticated these southern folks are. That's so, that's so, so 
sounded uh-huh. like Moira on Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the unsophisticated, especially. Unsophisticated. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most Southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just uh, the exception, okay? Well, what will so it be? We gonna deal or not? <laughs> <laughs> Chat's jinxing with you. <laughs> Why don't you do that? Oh, did, oh, she said more on. <laughs> just, uh, Yay! I'm glad it wasn't just in my mind, but literally when I heard it come out of my mouth, um, <laughs> HP lover, I was like, that sounded just like more on Shit's Creek. Um, oh, let's see. Deal or no deal? Deal or no deal? Guess we're going to deal. We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off of your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange is for information, is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. G Gordy? But, but, I'm sorry. But, but Gordy doesn't, I mean, I mean, Gordy might not exist. And then you to bring me proof that shows he doesn't. Uh, I'll be a keep and a watch from the car, okay? You see something, y'all come to me first. Got it? Oh, okay. Right. See y'all later. She's so much. <sighs> well, okay, great. I'm investigating, but now I'm going to investigate a monster. Okay, give us... Oh, sure, sure. Why not? Why okay, not? Nick, let's get hunting. <sighs> monster Goodness. hunting. Huh? Hunting, though? You don't seriously mean... Gordy, I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Uh, okay. And how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist. I don't know. I I don't even <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm just well, like okay. Let's go into the park more. All right. Whoa. Hello? <laughs> December 26th. Something changed. Yeah. December 26th, Gourd Lake Public Beach. What? What's that? The, the Steel Samurai, Nick. Hang on. <laughs> I'm just trying to He's remember. kind of country, but I not know, in I the know, same I know, I know, but I'm kind of, yep. Yo, Maya! Larry? What the heck is that? Oh, it was from my girl, Keonce's idea. She was all, if you like, put this here. It would be, like, really cool. Ah, hairy butts. <laughs> Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow. That's real impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. 
That's hell. Wait. And that show. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that show's finished now, so she got him for free. Uh, right. Hmm. Yo, Nick! What happened with Edgy? Well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are here on, though. Huh? Hey, Larry, did you know Mr. Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Oh, well, that's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No, really? Well, we were only in the same class for a little bit. He transferred school schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Right, when the DL6 incident happened. You think we're ever going to find out all about that? <laughs> I wonder if we are in this case. I don't know. Oh. Who can say? It doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. Hey, Larry. When did you get that big thing? Huh? Oh, the big guy. I've had that for about a month. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. The, the, the compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah. It's that little unit on by my hot dog stand. That's what I use to put air in the Steel Samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I set it in for repairs. Oh. And here I thought you inflated it by yourself. Thought it was kind of impressive. Well, yeah, you know, some say I'm full of hot <laughs> air, but I'm not quite full of that much hot air. <laughs> nice. Um, for the sake of expediency... Do you want me to tell you where we should go now to move the plot along? Sure. Should we say? Let's go okay. to the criminal affairs department. Mm, okay. Harry Butts is kind of giving baby girl slash himbo. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did you say? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think, well, I think so. I think I did. Um, Let's move. Move. Uh, gotta go to the entrance and then we can go there. All right. Gonna go to the criminal affairs department. All right. Yeah. December twenty sixth, police department, criminal affairs. Hey there, pal. Uh, what's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's gonna hurt Mister Edgeworth's case again, like. No. Get another witness. No. What do you mean again? Like, get another witness. Whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Uh, besides money, that is. I have precious little of that. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I cut my salary just about every case that I work on that you're involved in for some reason. Uh, well... Yeah, they don't they don't like losing. Uh how is the investigation proceeding? Uh it's not really. Uh we have another meeting coming up, but uh we're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. Well, again, it clearly shows it could not have been him firing the gun, so his motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. A story we all know the details of. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. So. R Robert Hammond, you know, because we all know the story. Uh, they're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. 
And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. Ah, I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. I don't see how this travesty of a court can... Again, this is just ridiculous. Um, hey, man, I work here. Say, Detective Gumshoe, uh, do you know Gordy? Uh, the monster down in Gord Lake? <laughs> Not personally, no. I mean, <laughs> we've never spoken. <laughs> that, that was a good one, Gumshoe. What? Well, we're looking for it. Huh? <laughs> Are you out of your minds? Well, um... <laughs> well... <clears throat> Is that time to go wild monster hunting? Well, how about doing a little questioning for me then? Oh, uh, well, wow. no, this is going to go south so oh. so far south. Um, Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. Uh, yeah, um, well, that, that, I told Detective <laughs> Gumshoe about the deal with Lotta. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. He yelled at me. Or sorry, sorry. Uh, I see, pal. Uh, sorry for shouting at you. Uh, okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Whoa. For oh, okay, thank you, Gumshoe. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Okay, that I like the sound of. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Okay, uh... Okay, give us the goods. Uh, hold on now. Everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing... Secret weapon number one, missile. M missile? What? He's a canine police dog, still in training. Oh. Missile, missile, here, boy. Okay. <clears throat> here he is. Hey, he's cute. Okay. I am looking for... Here I'm dealing with a samurai balloon. I'm now going to be dealing with a dog. And I'm going to be looking for a make-believe monster. Can you monster. stop with your crumb bum all the time? Look, Nick. It's a cute dog. A cute dog. And this will help us how? Uh, I don't know how you're going to help us, Missile. Uh, next secret weapon number two, a fishing pole. Here, this is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Do you really think I'm going to catch it with a fishing pole? Plus, I... Yeah. <laughs> how were we supposed... That I love, I love how I... Oh, I'm just sorry. No, that was great. You're um, on the same wavelength. I know, I know. How You're becoming are... Phoenix Wright. <laughs> I am. I am becoming new. All right. Uh, how were we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Not to mention, I'm not exactly a great fisherman. Never know till you try, pal. Um, yeah, uh, well. <sighs> okay, this next one is the last one. Because I said there was three, right? I think I said that. Oh, Anyways, that there's two. three. Oh, no, please. I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. All right. Well, that, that, that I like. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're, we're looking for something alive, though. I mean, as much as I was initially excited about that, I, well... You know, I will say, if it's a hoax, <clears throat> which it's got to be a hoax. Obviously, it's got to be a hoax. There's not a real-life monster. I don't believe that. But 
neck. Hmm. Maybe I can find some metal parts that someone is creating this this monster. Nick, you're so, being a crumb bum again. Well, no, I'm saying that right. it, hey, it, may, it may end up being the one useful thing that, that he's offered us out of everything. So, but but just devil's advocate, how are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? I mean, again, unless it is my suspicion, someone creating this fake monster. Hey, you never know. It might have been eating soda cans. Okay. That would mean it was real, so that I'm not buying. But, uh, you know. Well, which will it be? <sighs> hmm. Um. Okay. Here's my thought, Maya. I think uh-huh. that a metal detector will definitely, because there might be another gun. You know, they're trying to claim and. The, the the gun that was of course I know ballistics did match the other but here's here's my hmm. question to you mom do you want to immediately advance the story or do you want to see some kind of funny scenes oh and get an achievement not funny scenes and an achievement all right so, so dog metal uh, and and fish fishing pole? uh yeah, do the dog and fishing pole first, because okay. you're all you're on the right track as to which of those is most useful. Okay. All right. I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. So basically, you pick one. We're gonna go to the park and use it briefly, and then you'll come back and get another one, kind of thing. Will I be able to use all three? Yeah. All right. Cool. cool. You just have to come back to Gumshoe to switch them out. Can't make up my mind either for the totally opposite reason. Oh, well, I I suppose I can't hurt to borrow one of them. Um, All right, I'll borrow maybe the fishing pole or should maybe... Sure, fishing pole, fishing pole. All right. Can we borrow that flimsy looking fishing pole there? Sure thing, pal. Oh, uh, if it breaks, be sure to dispose of it properly, okay? I don't know if I know fishing pole disposal procedure, but, uh, 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 right, 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 sure. Fishing pole, Detective Gumshoe's personal fishing pole, sadly flimsy and of dubious utility. Fishing pole borrowed from Detective Gumshoe. All right, well, here goes nothing. Let's... Back to the park. Back, Back to, to the, the park. park. <laughs> Back to the park. <laughs> oh, that was great. Um, I'm assuming we're going to go to the public beach. Yeah. Hey, Larry. Um, what is, what is that? What are we... Do I need to go to the camping spot instead? No, I'm trying to... It's a, take the, the woods in, pub, in public beach. Uh, let's go to the woods, I guess. Okay, so maybe go, so move. Um, yeah. December 26, Gord Lake Woods. Hmm. Okay, Nick, this looks like a good spot. A good spot for what, though, Maya? Time to do some fishing! <sighs> She's serious. Uh, what are you gonna use for bait? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Think like they're just gonna bite at an um. empty hook? I mean, you know, we need bait. <sighs> Figured something like this would happen. We should have brought Missile along with us, too. At least then we'd have some bait. I could just throw him out there. Nick, how could you? Well, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Kind of, kind of, kind of not kidding. But, but I, I'm kidding. <sighs> some jokes are better left untold. That's just not okay. She hit me. Hmm. Okay, watch this, Nick. Just try not to reel in in any empty cans or boots, okay? Here we go! Ah, my, my leg, oh! Okay. okay, I'm assuming that was the camera. Ha! 
Hi! What are y'all doing? Sorry, Lotta. Don't tell me y'all are on some film company's payroll. Nick, pay her. My, my poor, 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 poor wallet. This is... I don't need to eat. Yeah, done. Um, I don't need to pay rent. Yeah, just... All right. <laughs> Um, uh, I think that's the scene that we can get with this if we want. Yeah, we you can ask her about that stuff. I don't know if she, what she'll. I don't know if she'll give us much because she wants the Gordy info. I learned something in today's trial. That's for sure. Testifying as serious business. Well, that's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa, didn't you say you had no, information? No, that's, that's, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Scratch. Rewind. Boop. All right. Boop, 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 <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Uh, whoa, didn't you say you had information about the case? <laughs> Tell us that at least. Like I say it. I'll trade it. For the debt on Gordy. Debt. <laughs> what are you gonna do if Gordy doesn't exist? Other than cry like I will. I'll call Wyatt being an investigative photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. I like that emoji in chat. Uh, was it a good one? <clears throat> uh, you bet, yuffo. Uh, a UFO? Is that what you, what? Anyway, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I will quit and go back to school. Huh? So you really are a university student? I thought that was a whole lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all. I'm a taking a break for a bit. Right. All right. Um. So we can't. Wait, you just talk it... to her about. Yeah, I did. It, it'll probably just have a shorter version of the same thing. She's okay. not going to give you anything till we have Gordy. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, till we have Gordy info. So back to detective, and let's get missile. Oh, so we. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we we got time. the we got the scene that involves the fishing hook. Now it's time for. What happened? Did she just did she knock over the camera or did she? She caught her own foot or leg with the, okay. with it and then tripped herself. Okay. Yeah, made a loud noise. And then the the camera went off. Okay. It yeah. Used a bunch of film. Okay, got it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Just kind of okay. So just talk to him about the secret weapons and we can get missile. Detective Gumshoe, can we borrow one of the other things? Huh? Uh, yeah, sure, pal. Uh, but I have to take back the last one I lent you. Department policy. Oh, that's fair. Well, take your pick. Which will it be? All right. Well, I'll get the dog. Can we, can we borrow missile? I, I'm going to see if uh, Gordy's hungry. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, sure thing, pal. Be good to him, which which means don't feed him to Gordy. All Look. right. <clears throat> sure. I love this dog. He's so cute, and you're such a crumb up about it, Nick. Sure. Oh, boy. Missile, a canine unit in training. Very cute, with shiny eyes. <laughs> I thought you were just adding that. That's cute. Canine <laughs> missile unit. <laughs> Wait, say, K-9 unit missile borrowed from Detective Gumshoe. No, very cute with shiny eyes. Is That's like, that's facts, you know? <laughs> All right, let's head oh. back to the park. Back to the park. I love how you said that. Oh, thanks. All right, we're going to go to the public beach, I'm assuming. Dog. And then... Doge. Hey, Nick. Hmm? 
Missile's been acting strangely. Missile? Oh, 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 right. That little creature of the detectives? It's a dog, Nick. Hey! I love little doggies. Good boy, good boy. Grr! <laughs> oh, sorry. No, that's the dog. Oh, yeah. Love it. What? What's wrong, Missile? Whoa, 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 stop that thing, cannibal, stop it, what's going on, whoa, back up, doggy. Whoa, <laughs> that was scary, Nick, my samurai dogs. Wow, he ate every single one. What am I going Really quickly. My baby broke now, Nick, what, what the <laughs> heck, what did you <laughs> unleash here? Um, I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry? Sorry don't pay my bills, Nick! Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it's, it's gonna have to this time. I, my wallet is, like, tapped out. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Larry. <laughs> um, Alright. Uh, we, can, we can bring the doggo back and go get the actual thing that'll help us. The metal detector. Alright. So, I am very glad that... <laughs> I was so smart. I was thinking about the metal detector. All right. Right. Um, all right. Let's go back here. Uh, saw Talk. So about the secret weapons, uh, Detective Gumshoe, can we borrow one of the other things? I'm I'm done with these. Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, sure, pal. But I have to take back the last one and let you, department policy, blah, blah, blah. You happily, can... happily. Well, take your pick. Which will it be? All right. Gonna get what I should have gotten to start. Can we borrow that metal detector? Sure thing, pal. I'm not sure what we're gonna find with this, but it's gotta be better than what I... Jeez. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Including a metal monster. Or exactly. another gun. Yeah. Metal detector. Makes a noise when metallic objects are near. A useful detection device. Metal detector borrowed from the detective gumshoe. Or from... Sorry. Malfunction. <laughs> Sorry. Malfunction. Metal detector borrowed from detective gumshoe. The repeating it twice was a really good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a good flourish. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. So I don't know if you've noticed, but we've kind of done all of the spots in the park except for the boat rental shop. Uh, so logically, time to bring this to the boat rental shop part. Ah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So I wonder if I should just real quickly. I guess I'll just save super fast. Sure. Um, Never hurts to save, unless your save corrupts, and then it hurts. Oh, that would be terrible. That's a scary thought. I know, right? Uh, I know. Should All be right. fine. All right, <clears throat> we are gonna move to the lake. Gonna move to, to the beach. beach. Gonna move. Then... Oh, sorry, sorry, Larry. It's giving me dirty looks here. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, don't worry about still, it. Still, still, real, 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 still really sorry about the the hot dogs there. All right. December 26th, Boat Rental Shop. Hmm. It's always so quiet here. Everyone's buried underground. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I don't, I... Why would you say that? I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good or like... Well, the murder on the lake and all. I mean, I doubt there's a lot of people going out here. They're probably just... I don't know, taking a vacation till it blows over? Yeah, I get it. Already oh. working. N Nick! I know! It's beeping! The metal detector's found something! Okay, sure's loud enough about it. 
Whatever yeah. it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why me? Why do I have to check it out? Well, I've I've paid a fortune, you know, for some things that you did, so you you kind of owe me. Mm. Maya. Nick. Maya. Look. Huh? An air It's tape? true. Edgeworth paid for it. You didn't even pay for it, Nick. <laughs> oh, okay. That yeah, I understand that. But I had to calling you I, out. But I had to pay for. I had to pay back out. Lotta. I had to pay back Lotta. I had to pay. <laughs> I've had to pay a lot. So chat is not on your side, <laughs> Nick. Uh, huh? An air tank? Huh? The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Pay for your life. Well, first of all, <laughs> why would Cordy be in the bushes? He's a he's it a, he's a, like he's a lake monster. On land he's, he's and aquatic. In... He's a lake monster. Could be like a frog. Mm -hmm. um, and second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Unless, again, my theory like, is like correct. Like Gumshoe said, ate a lot of cans. Mm -hmm. But someone could have created it. Do you think this is a Scooby Doo huh? episode, Nick? Huh? You keep suggesting There's that someone made a monster. wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a... You think Maya knows the word amphibious? A string of... Well, probably not. That's fair. Uh, it looks like <laughs> a string of flags. Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. Air tank. An empty air tank. The valve is open and a banner of flags is wrapped around it. Air tank of dubious value retrieved. I love how I know the word dubious. It did sound like I said dubious, but I actually said dubious. It did sound like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I, uh, I guess back to the only place we can go. Uh, um, <laughs> Sorry, Larry. Larry has done his stuff. I could ask him about hey, flags, do you, though. Hey, hey. Look at our evidence real quick. Um, yeah, because I, I wonder if the same flags. I wonder if his girlfriend is. Well, that's what I'm saying is, yeah. like, the stuff wrapped around the air tank, doesn't it kind of look like... Mm -hmm. Right? Like, it's country flags? Yeah. Like, something's missing and that... Yeah. Want, let's hmm. show it to him. Okay, yeah. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, <clears throat> I wanted to ask you about this tank. Have you seen this before? Huh? Me? No. No, no, never. Who the heck would go diving in the middle of, win of the winter? Nick, your friend feels really suspicious. <sighs> There's something about the way his eye twitched when, he showed, when I showed him the tank. You know, Larry, love you, but I'm not quite believing this, Larry. And also, I suspect that your uh, big samurai float dude is is posing as Gordy. I mean, as Gordy or I don't know. I, something's up. I think I better pursue this line of questioning a little further. Uh, so yeah, you can just talk to him. Hmm. Uh, or not? Wait, what is it? Hmm. Present the air tank. Hmm. You pres you presented it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Present it again. What? An air tank. What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Is okay, it Okay, here we go. Is it yours? Say, is, is this air tank yours? What? Why, why would you have a, a why, why, why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? We call that it's evidence. Just like the string of flags around your still samurai here. There. Uh, 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 must, must be a coincidence. 
<laughs> you know, there's there's a string of flags everywhere these days. Like, like, like uh, 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 elementary schools, I like, uh, and, and they use car dealerships. Look, look, why, why would I need a tank anyway? <sighs> to inflate something? You used this to inflate that, didn't you? It... I... I... In, inflate what? What else? It's looking me in the face, Larry. Okay, it, it can't... Co a huge samurai, you know, takes a lot of air. The steel samurai now. That big, puffy, steel samurai. Okay, do I have to spell it out for you, Larry? Now, now, why would you go asking me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right. 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 Uh, actually, um... See, the, the compressor I always use was on the fritz. So, uh, I, tr I tried using the tank to inflate it just once. And, uh, um, I, I didn't go so well. <clears throat> As I suspected. Uh, yeah, ask, ask more, ask more. more. Okay. It didn't go so well. Can we be a little bit more specific, Larry? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I love it. I love it. What? I love it. He's saying now exactly what I just said. Uh, do you think you could be a little more specific? <laughs> Except he didn't say Larry, but Larry, can you be a yeah, little sure. bit more specific? C c come on. Look, it's embarrassing. So I, I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us, tell us. <sighs> Fine, whatever. It's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then, wham! The valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And that tank there took off like a rocket, like up into outer space. Man, it was wild. And it, it took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gord Lake? It sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Uh, and now we should just be able to talk to him. Yeah. Um. So the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to fill flew up, uh, fill up, flew away. Uh, what happened next? Well, all that happened on the twentieth or so. Twentieth, a week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the lake. So, I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, Keonse gave me that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. It flew way out there. Took me four whole days to find it night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was there on the night of the murder. But you see, I, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery, at least. Uh, mystery? <laughs> You're so right, chat. Maybe we should go tell her. Um, before, so we're gonna go 
talk to a lot of heart. Do you want to take a break real quick? Oh, yes. Yeah, we're at 806. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Seems All like right, a good so stop. I'll save real quick. <clears throat> awesome. All right. All right. All right. I will go to. Ch Where am I going? I am going. All right. We will take a quick break, everyone. See you in just a few minutes. All right. Yep. Okay. Bye.
Hello. Hey, hello. We're back. How's everybody? Good break? We're back and we're country. Yeah. Shake and bake and we have. Now this game is all country all the time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've gone country. Uh, all right. <laughs> God, lol, I mean good. <laughs> we believe you. Um, what am I doing? All right. Going back. Going back. All right, we gotta we gotta talk to Lotta. All right. Um. Woods. Oh, at least for the, the other bang. Part. Yeah. So that was the third bang she heard, and then I. Yeah. Let's let's go. Yeah. Let's talk yeah, to her. That's true. That's true. Okay. Uh, like woods. All right. All right. To move. No. Nope. Wait. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. I just need Push to. Q. Or that button. Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, there you go. Uh, all right. Away, I'm Mr. Lawyer. I've got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me? Huh. Gordy? Oh. We found him already. What? I haven't seen any monsters yet. Well, did, didn't you just didn't you just hear what Larry said? Y'all for real? Goldie really exists? Wait. I need proof. You get a photo? Um. Am I am I out on a limb? That's like. <laughs> I think you just told her a real monster exists. Oh. I have no proof. I, I don't have it yet, but my lawyer instincts tells me the proof is out there. Ha! Nice try, but y'all can't pull the wool over these eyes that easy. Well, that won't work in court either, Nick. I'm disappointed in all you. All right, okay, I jumped the gun. I guess Larry's, you know, flying samurai wasn't um, great. Now they're both mad at me. Well... Um, so try that again and choose the right option this time. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I've got the info y'all need. Now, if you would speak straight and not be telling me them or any of them lies again, maybe I'll tell y'all. Yeah, any of them. Uh... Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? So... Which thing should you choose? He doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Lotta. There, there's no such thing as Gordy. The thing that you... What? How can y'all be so sure? My... R really, Nick? <laughs> y'all got some proof Gordy don't exist? Well, yeah, this is <clears throat> kind of what I was getting at. The um, the proof that Gordy doesn't exist is is here. Of course, I have proof. No lawyer worth his badge would make a claim without the proof to back it up. I mean, I understand I just did, but I I kind of didn't realize you were going to take it. Me saying I have proof with it anyway. Okay, um, here's the proof that Gordy doesn't exist. The Gordy you think you saw was actually this. Larry's air tank? What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Uh, uh, excuse me? What, what exactly are you saying, Nick? That's an air tank. There's a stand near here. A hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, who also happens to be a friend <laughs> of mine, uh, tried to fill it. 
He used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a loud bang when it flew. A bang? A bang? The tank, along with the still deflated uh, samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time, A couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait. So, you're saying that Gordy is really the Steel Samurai? Yeah. That, that's, about, that's about it. Wait, what? Way of the that's a fine way to ruin a cow's dreams. Oh no, she's so sad. I, I, I'm sorry, Lotta. No, nah, no, nah, it's <laughs> it's okay. You win. I'll give you your info like I promised. <laughs> Poor Lotta. Um, I, 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 I am sorry, uh, Lotta, but can, so, can you tell us this information you have? Pro promises, promise, I guess. <sighs> well, I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said... He's the caretaker of the boat rental place up, up the path here. Boat rental? Wait, that's over... There's someone in there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just, just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lotta. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. As <laughs> you are crutching on something. <laughs> nuh -uh. You can't prove anything. <laughs> Hold on. Something else? Yeah, yeah. The night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. Huh? Oh, that's you. Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all, j just the lake. I, I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, I, I, I might not be helpful at all, but here, take it. Second lake photo shows an empty lake taken automatically on 1224 at 1150 p.m. Second lake photo added to the court record. Bye now. Y'all take care. Time for me to, 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 to pack up and, and leave. Are those crocodile tears or real? I can't tell. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know. Uh, poor Lotta. It's all Larry's fault. Legend still lives on, I, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the, the legend of Larry. Familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Gross. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. <laughs> well, we mm. I think we have our direction for mm. where we should look now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> December 26th, Boat Rental Shop. Hey, Nick. This is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. 
Well, let's ch go check it out anyway. All right. Let's see. Um, wait. Oh, yeah. Caretaker check. December 26, Caretaker Shack. You're this Ma character. Right. My egg? Meg? Is that, is that you? Eek! Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Uh, N Nick, you handle this one. Actually, maybe we should. Uh, <clears throat> maybe we should kind of go along with this. Is, uh, you handle like, it, Nick. You're, you uh, got it. Uh, I think I'll leave this one up though to you, Maya, because look, we could we could what? And go along with this. See, see, let him think we're let him think whoever he wants us to think we are. You know, let's see if we can. Uh. Meg. Y yes. Finally, made up your mind, have you? M my mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. P pasta? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I, I, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running, an old, old man like me? Polly, the, the kids are home. Nice, that's a good parrot. N Nick, what was that? Uh, a parrot? The one on that perch right there? Keith! Uh, uh, yes? I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. <laughs> Nick, what's the wet noodle? I'm assuming you know, pasta. Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of this pasta shop. Uh, that's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello? Hello? What? Uh, yep. Nick, he literally fell asleep on us. He, he, he fell asleep. I, I guess, I guess he's relieved. I guess maybe he's been awake all I don't, I don't know. Um, hmm. uh, do you want to examine stuff while he's sleeping? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. All right, let's see. <laughs> Good thought, Maya. Good thought. <laughs> Um, let's see. That was, I didn't say anything. That oh. was a thought in your head. Mm, okay. Look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. That's true. That's a great idea. We should do that at the office. You know, we're already not doing a lot of work at the office, which we get paid. Yeah. Go we ahead. can sit down with our clients, snug and warm, drink hot coca. I don't know if they're usually when they come to us uh, ready to be quite that relaxed, but you know, and then what? Talk about murders, just like kumbaya. You might have killed someone, but kumbaya. You might be on death. You know, you might be accused of murder, but kumbaya. I mean, you know, come on. You said kumbaya a lot. You're a party pooper, Nick. <sighs> Whatever. All right. Hmm. Fishing pole here. This fishing pole looks expensive. Maybe his son, not me, <laughs> bought it to him. I don't know. Um, hmm. Let's see. What's this? Look, a little safe. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's locked. 
Well, I mean, you know, don't want him to think we're robbing him or something. Wow, he has a television in here, too. Uh, let's see. Anything in the garbage can? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of various fish in Gord Lake here, aren't there? Eh? Yeah, see? See all the, all the fish, Maya? That's kind of like right behind you. No, yeah, I see the fish. But something's funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. Hmm, you, you know your fish, I guess. Okay. Interesting, huh. Um, hmm. Looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Funny, he doesn't look like the type who'd keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, the clue's here. Um. Wow, what an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Hello. It ignored me. Meg, you, you gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly. How you been? companion of the boat shop caretaker. Answers to the name, Polly. Parrot added to the court record. Too bad all she can say is hello. <laughs> oh, oh, Polly can say lots of things. Don't you remember? You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Have you been gone so so long? You don't remember? Um, I think you need to present something to the caretaker. Uh, Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly, Polly, Polly. He cute. I has found a new friend. Okay, so. Um, hmm. You need to present your attorney's badge. Oh. I don't know how you would have thought to do that, but. Oh. All right. <laughs> Nana. I know. You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I also have my eyes closed when I'm doing that. You're um, killing me. <laughs> huh. well, well, that's, a, that's a lawyer's badge, Keith. Uh, been to law school? What, 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 what about my pasta shop? Yeah. Yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. Whoa. Hey, the, the, whoa, I, I, this is really exciting. I, I get it. Huh? I, I, I got you figured out now. You're not Keith! 
Uh-oh. Nick. Now's our chance to clear things up. I hate living a lie. Uh, uh um, sir? Uh, no, I, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg, either! We're, we're here in investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Hmm. Uh, a lawyer, huh? Please, mister. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll help. But on one condition. What's that? And... When this case is over and done. I think they know that some players just like you'll... show all the items to everyone to try to get reactions. Mm. You'll run the wet noodle. I feel like we should promise them this one. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> we, we promise. Nick. Nick, are you sure about this? That's well, like, well, you know, that's if, like a if, big deal. Well, if if Larry can run a hot dog stand, okay, we can we can run a pasta. Stand. We'll we'll figure it out. Maybe, hey, you know, are we really doing that bad? Well, with the you know, business? hey, hey, hey. Here's a thought. Here's a thought. You know how the dog, the cute dog, ate up all all of his hot dog. Well, you know, yeah. Hey, maybe maybe we the can. dog's name was Missile. Well, and but, you hated it. I know, I know. But maybe we can we can offer. You know, butts in exchange. You know, hey, maybe, maybe we can get butts to be our, our cook. You know, hey, anything though to get this case solved, okay? Because because Ed, Edgeworth, you know, his life's on the line. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? Uh uh. What do you think, Maya? I guess so. Phoenix, come on, Phoenix noodle. You know, hey, it's got a ring to it. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Good for you. Well, wait. Didn't I just say... You too, Meg. Way to go. Nick's noodles. Y yes Wait, I thought... I thought we cleared this up. <laughs> You bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know. Now, what was that you wanted to know? S speak up, Polly. Ow! Ow! Quack. Uh. Now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? For the sake of expediency, you get him to talk to you by showing him... The lake photo. I was gonna, you know, I was actually thinking before you said, um, whatever the thing is showing him the blank, the blank photo. Is that yeah, what you're thinking? Let's yeah, let's that out. Okay. I think so. All right. <laughs> he fell asleep. Again. <laughs> Uh, maybe it was the other lake photo. And I did present, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Spark me, 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 me. Oh, wait, wait. Back again. What are you doing? All right. Just keep going. Mm. <coughs> uh, yeah, try the other lake photo. Uh, no. Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the overhead map. Sorry. It's the um, other photo. I know. I You're, no, but it's not this one. You just did that. Oh, this one. photo. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Lake photo. Yeah, got it. Uh, yep. Uh, i seen this. You, you know something about this, sir? Keith. Uh, yeah, yes? It's it's okay. <laughs> you can call me dad. <laughs> oh 
man. <laughs> d d Dad, you know something about this? Oh my god, you actually did it. Uh, yep, uh, the other night. Out on the lake. Maya? Yes? Yes? I know all about that. I, I see it. What? Tell us! Tell us what you saw! Well... I, I suppose... Since you're taking over the shop and all... Alright. Let's see if we can talk to him now. Hmm. Alright, do I need to save or something? Uh, if you want, but we can okay. talk to him. Okay. Well, just in case I say, I mean, I don't know. Alright, um, <laughs> a little munch, a little muncher. Nuh uh. Uh huh. <clears throat> That's why you're not seeing all the lines you need to say. <laughs> Alright. Nuh uh. Am I gonna talk to him about <laughs> It's actually not. The main reason is because I'm looking at a guide to make sure we're making progress, mm. but let's go um, through it. Alright. Um,. A pasta shop? Uh, yep. To, to think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know. That makes you to the... You two, the third generation. Meg? Y yes Tomorrow, we'll start the secrets of dough tossing. D dough tossing? You too, Keith. Uh, y d y yes? You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. P pasta? The wet? Isn't pasta from Italy? Meg? Uh, yes. You, you know the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? It's you. Right, of course. Everybody knows that. Get out of here, chat. I see you. <laughs> Nick? <laughs> huh? How long do we have to keep up this all in the family, Sherrod? We haven't gotten him to say anything. This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what that is. Um, this, this is a boat rental shop, right? Oh, what are you talking about? This here's... The Palace of Pasta. The Wet Noodle. Sounds Though, like a little bit of Jimmy Stewart now suddenly. I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah. I know. Now now that you mention it, we, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids <laughs> come up and say, Yo, dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. Chat, why? Chat, what's the what's the nay nays about? Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Chat, what if I start talking more about Jimmy Stewart? <laughs> That's why I keep them boats <laughs> out there, <laughs> youngsters. These days, darned if I understand them. Uh, I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. Aliens and chat. But this old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. Uh, my, my memory's gotten worse of late. That's 
why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? Huh, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, three. One, two, two, eight. Ah, ah. All right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? <laughs> See, Nick, all it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write that number down. Hey, don't get me involved with your little high schemes. We don't want to rob this man. Come on, Maya. Are you sure? Yes. I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night, eh? Yep. <clears throat> it was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang, so I looked outside. The emotes in chat are so I nice. heard another one bang. A little while later, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. He was uh, muttering something to himself. Uh, yep. What did he say? Hmm. Yep. Uh. I forgot. Ugh. I'll remember tomorrow by four time. Promise. We need to know earlier than that. Yeah. Know what? Nay. Little Terry was just here. <clears throat> Terry? Uh, yep, that, uh, kid next door. You always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing his tattered old coat. Got himself some, uh, whiskers, uh, growing out of his face. He must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. Terry. He, he comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow, I don't think we're going to get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. I actually think we should question Polly, but I don't know. If... Oh, wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly! Polly! Have we forgotten something? What? Don't forget! Dio 6! Dio 6! Squawk! Huh? The heck? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly! Don't forget! Dio 6! Squawk! What? What? The DL6 incident? Hey, mister! I, I, I mean, dad! This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure out who that old man is. Oh. What? Uh, he locked the door from the other side. Who could that old man be? I think 
I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. This is... This is... Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. Well, I guess it's back to criminal affairs then. That that bird's saying some things. I know that was that <laughs> that was fun. They all set. Were you, were you expecting yeah. that to come from no, the bird? Not not the else. I I was hoping that like Maya would we would just question him about what happened. Like you know. Yeah, what, yeah. Uh, but you know, it's interesting. Um, but. Uh, Oh, excuse me. So it sounds like we're going back to talk to Detective Gumshoe. And then that's probably going to have to be it for the night. Um, so we're going to the Criminal Affairs Department. Yeah, um, yeah. December 26th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hey, pal. Long time no see. Uh, <laughs> you don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? It better not be another witness. Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah? Doc? You know the boat rental shop down at Gord Lake? Uh, oh yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Huh? Uh, how'd you... Huh? Well, that's supposed to be top secret, but, uh... Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, uh, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Law to heart yesterday. As for who he is, uh, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Yeah, I'm suspecting he's not as, you know, out of it as he's making out to be. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I concur. Um, Detective Gumshoe, please help us. Huh? Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. What? I thought I, I thought you knew all about that. Or... Th that was when Edgeworth's father died. Right. I, I can't help but think that it has something to do with this current case. Uh, to tell the truth, I, I don't know much about DL6 either. I just kind of like to pretend I do. Mr. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, uh, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? Uh, however, if you can show convince, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to the case, well, then I guess I'd consider opening the file up. Do you have anything you can show him? Mm-hmm. The bird. Nope, not that way. Go back. Go back. Nope. Get exit out of this. Hmm. And oh. go back. Got it. And then present. <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, what's that? A parrot? The old man at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about that incident. That incident? DL6. What? what Yeah. Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Polly ah. want a cracker. Ah. Don't forget. DL6. DL6. Ah. Huh? Huh? I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if... What 
if that old man was connected to DL6. N Nick, y you think he might be? Uh, uh, I get you. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Through there's the station's records room. I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. Gumshoe, you rock. You are awesome. I appreciate you. All right. Way to go, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, Nick, to the records room. Okay. I guess it's time we faced Edgeworth's past. To the record room. All right. December 26th, Police Department, Records Room. Wow! It's amazingly dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL6 stuff quick. It's almost time for Nana to finish her stream. Yeah. <laughs> yes, another incentive for us to... Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through with fourth grade, and he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6? Nick, I found out where the file is. Uh, uh oh, oh, thanks. Uh, just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. Hmm. So my... I'm just talking to talk about to Okay. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary, summary, found it. Here you go. December 28th, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district courthouse. What? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. That would, that would be scary like that in the dark. Yes, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to talk over you. I was going to ignore it. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator, and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edge. Nope, that's me. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. Hmm. Do you have data on the victim Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim, here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. Uh, he had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father. And the angle of the bullet and other evidence could not have been a suicide. 
The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh. Sounds just like this current case. What is going on here? Great question. Got any data on the suspect in there? Uh, that would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on, uh, this is it. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was... <laughs> was Sneeze. <laughs> um, was Yanni Yogi? He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it, right? But he was found innocent, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived so much that he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Huh. B where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? Or if he's the man in the boathouse. That's our dad. You know our dad? The pasta shop we're going to... Yeah, okay. That's uh, he, a weird leap, uh, but okay. He may have been closer than we think. I guess I know generally what happened in the D6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Can't be good, though. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. Yeah, you're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? DL6 case file. File on the DL6 incident. DL6 case file added to the court record. Hmm. Right. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. Dun, dun, dun. Good stopping part. Da, da, da. We did it. To be continued. Woohoo. All right. Save our progress. Yes. Save. Save. All right. I'm going to save it twice. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. There we go. All right. We are ready. Oh, dang it. I didn't want back. Ugh. Hate it when I do that, well, but that's all right. Um, well, you're stopping, huh? Yeah. Okay, let me escape. No. You options. can never you can never leave. Never leave. I need the title <laughs> screen. I need the title screen. Um right, we are going to exit the game. Oh right. I love being a Moira. Alright. We got we got another trial day, another investigation, and a final trial. I yes. think we can do it before Dragon Age comes out. If we oh, at least complete okay. one a okay. one a stream. We have to buy Dragon Age. You need to. You, we need to do that this weekend. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm just like, oh, I need to do it with you. I need. I need support. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which also is I silly. always like to make sure that I get the right version, all that good stuff. So yeah. sure, so sure. Send me the link of what you think we should get. All that good stuff. Sure, sure. All right. Well, everyone, thank you so much. Thank you. And yeah. I, I don't know if you're still here, um, HP lover, but thank you, Picture of a Crook, as always, for being so awesome. And yeah. yeah. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. And until Wednesday, bye, everyone. Bye.